I'd like to welcome you to the circulative mapping webinar. So um, Hanoi ad hoc talk number one, and to be the first of many, I hope, for this interesting iterative um, research project that's going to be happening. So what we're going to do today is just, um, I'm going to introduce to you um, our speakers. And we're also going to discuss um, a bit about Hanoi Ad Hoc, the project, what it's doing, how you can uh, become involved if you're interested. And then we're also going to have plenty of opportunity for questions, um, you know, and sort of more kind of interactive kind of things. And then we'll wrap up the session with some more discussions with our other guest speaker, Stanislav. Okay. So, Let's introduce the, our guest speakers. They have very uh, impressive bios. So let's hear about them. So Thomas lacour has worked as a professional architect and urban planner since 2006. He is developing his skills in the design of public spaces. Uh, and his recent assignments have been in the Middle East, in Bahrain, the UAE and KSA, so uh, Saudi Arabia and Asia, India, Vietnam and Cambodia. And it's enabled him to take up the challenge of planning and designing sustainable cities in regions with a constrained climate and rapid large scale growth. So based on these experiences, Thomas has been able to develop a multidisciplinary and holistic vision of urban scales from the metropolitan territory to building scale. And he's interested in different typologies of architecture, traditional or contemporary, and he tries to discern the steps of their creative process, always seeking to gain insight into world cultures and populations he's still seeking to discover. So what we'll do now is uh, just a little bit of housekeeping. So um, because there's quite a few of us, if I can ask you all but to stay muted. If you have questions, please put them into the chat so that they're there. So um, when, and when we come to a, a space where we can talk with Tomas and with Stanislav, we can do that. So keep a record of all your great questions that you have. Um, and also, um, and so with that, and we welcome lots of questions and lots of participation. That's a really very open kind of discussion that we'll have today. So I would now like to, introduce uh, Chung, who's the um, initiator of Hanoi Ad Hoc, and for him to talk with us about the project, why he developed it, why it's important for us to do something like this today in Hanoi. So Chung, over to you. Oh, thank you, Michelle, for your very kind uh, introductions. Um, so my name is Chung Mai. Um, um, I'm, um, I'm the initiator of Hanoi Ad Hoc. Uh, Hanoi is actually uh, a group of um, multidisciplinary researchers, and uh, we founded it in late 2020 with uh, Dukle, with uh, Daniel uh, Labbe, uh, Christina Strenken, and uh, Sylvie Fonchette. Um, so we um, we try to develop a platform which is we call a playful playful uh, academic research um, where we, we try to bridge um, the two extremities between the practice school, architectural practice and academic research. And um, um, Hano Ad House is um, also a multi-annual uh, projects uh, that focus on um, different um, contextualized uh, issue of uh, urban uh, in, in, in the urban area of Hanoi. And this year we're gonna focus on one urban elements or urban artifact of the city, uh, ranging from uh, the sidewalk, um, which is very ordinary elements um, to the high rise buildings and the um, factories which is the subject of this year, Hanu Ad Hoc uh, 1.0. And um, we, we really want to um, have another approach on our research, um, which is focused mainly on three acts, which is uh, archive, theorize, and um, provocations. Um, so now um, I'm not trying to uh, 
explain the whole projects, but we are at the the stage between the the archive and uh, theorize. Um, and um, for to do the archive, we have um, to collect the 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 bunch of data that the existing data of the factories and try to analyze this. And GIS is actually a, a tool that the most fundamental tool uh, which can help us to realize, to, to unearth the, the information from the, the database that we collect and to show the, the, over, um, the overall views and um, to synthesize and generate a lot of, um, of, of data, other data, and we can, which we can use for different purpose and different projects. So the idea is the outcome will be um, an interactive open source platform uh, where any, anybody can access and, um, and use it for different type of projects. Um, so I will give the, you know, the baron to Doma to explain more about uh, this uh, tool and how to use it. Yeah, thank you, John. Um, as uh, as Michel said, I will represent me I, as a, an architect and an urbanist. I'm from the uh, School of Architecture of Belleville. Um, I practiced uh, the, the urbanism um, uh, in my uh, agency, Agence Terre in Paris. Is a former urbanist, landscape designer, and uh, architect. Um, I recently have been um, involved in the development strategy all around the world, and uh, uh, I am in the ad, 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 um, team during the beginning. So I am really glad to present this uh, this work uh, for the first uh, first talk. Um, uh, can we do this? Oh, yes, thank you. Um, for the the circulative mapping is uh, first of all a quest question of uh, representation. Um, since the, the beginning, um, we have to to think about the representation in the the map and the, all data we have and. Uh, I will give you this example of um, representation during the history, um, like the, the painter of uh, Caravaggio yeah. <coughs> represents still life, um, like he, he see and like he, he, he transmit and uh, broadcast uh, the, the, the image of um, of a representation on the the, the the idea we have of um, of the of the, the information, and we have also the the social media who represent some information, and he gave some uh, some data uh, in each publication, um, like the 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 owner of the publication, the the site location, the the year. The, the social media he used and the, 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 the terms and the, 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 the methodology also uh, with the hashtag and the uh, tag in the, each uh, publication. Um, so the, the data is it's really important, uh, really useful in uh, our world. That's why we we would create um, a circulative mapping uh, linked by each data we have and we, each data we could collect. Next, please. So um, I will compare. Uh, it's the same com comparative um, uh, imagery uh, between uh, first map of uh, circulation goods in uh, in all uh, all of the world uh, like the circulative mapping uh, produced by Charles Joseph Mina 
in uh, 1958. So he introduced um, circulation of goods from the, co the cotton trade uh, all over the world. Um, uh, before the, the, the beginning uh, of the, the mapping uh, as to, to to create um, some information in, uh, in this uh, in this drawing to to analyze uh, and to to compare uh, each production and each uh, use uh, use we can have uh, and into to uh, to uh, to d so uh, nowadays uh, the the mapping has no changed but you have some uh, that has uh, linked by each point, each line, so each polygons we can we can create and we can uh, uh, add in the in the world. And uh, QGIS, it's uh, the tools we we choose to 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 diffuse uh, the interactive maps we we have on the Hanoi. Uh, and I, I, I don't, um, and we we be, we are begin to collect each data uh, to recreate uh, next aesthetic maps or um, really clear maps to to have a, a clear uh, communication of information we have. Um, the the gist proce processing is uh, uh, it's it's really the the, the methodology of uh, comp uh, composed uh, map. Uh, we have um, we have done a, a methodology to to create this map, and uh, the beginning is uh, about the data data collection. Um, we have also a large library in the, in the world. Um, with the open data, so but in different country we have no access to this uh, data, so we have to 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 collect each information to to have a, a basic map, and uh, after we have to 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 have a data creation uh, phases um, to withdraw some polygons, lines, and points. Uh, in where we are interested in. So after this uh, data collection, we have uh, uh, basic maps. Uh, so we can do the comparison between each entities. Um, uh, this categorization is linked by uh, different data as we have. Uh, uh, each data have uh, an, uh, large tab tables and upgradable tables with different attributes. So we can uh, add some attributes in this and each uh, polygons we have uh, to, to create the beginning of interactive maps uh, in the same, uh, same polygons and same uh, entities. So with, with, this, uh, with this methodology, uh, we have to, to define um, a scale or a format to to traduce uh, this information in map. Uh, this is the the bridge between information and uh, communication. Uh, is like um, is linked by the categorization of each polygons of each in entities we have to traduce in the map creation the information uh, to. To, to give a clear uh, vision uh, we, and a clear information we have to, to, to broadcast uh, uh, and each uh, thematic uh, we choose. So the, 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 this is a QGIS, is a bridge between uh, um, collecting uh, category, uh, categorization and uh, map creation to uh, to the, the, the aesthetic uh, creation we, we have to, to do in uh, an uh, ad hoc. Uh, to have some more explication in uh, uh, to GIS, um, it's about um, 
the, the database we have and we could create in a different shape, uh, different uh, kind of files. Uh, 2GS is a free software. Uh, we can download it uh, very easily uh, in the in the web, and we it's also a tools we can who can complete with um, 2GIS plugins to to do some different kind of map and different type of uh, uh, literalization. Uh, it's very uh, large uh, software, and uh, uh, if, with this um, with this software, we can create all all the maps you you, you ever uh, you ever want. Yeah, next please. So in the in the map, you you have uh, some physically uh, information with uh, uh, polygons, lines, and uh, points. So in each uh, each entities, we have some in information to, to treat. So with uh, this uh, software, uh, we, we, are, we have some attributes, tables, and layer property to, to, to manage, to organize and arrange the, the information by uh, by a column of attributes and uh, ID, and we we have also the layer properties to end and and improve the 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 clear the clear um, the clearing map. Um, <clears throat> you, you so we have to to select and improve uh, each map. Uh, we have to, to do this with uh, every tools we have in, uh, in GIS. It's, um, it's a very easily G, uh, software. So um, uh, with this uh, QGIS, we, we could uh, have an open data platform uh, with all the data we have collected uh, before. Um, it's it's like your tools to who want to to create and edit and uh, visualize and uh, analyze uh, and and publish uh, geospatial information uh, on uh, each uh, each each uh, each, um, each platform you want to um, you want to to create. Um, so we can go next and the uh, attribute tables. So um, uh, with this, uh, <clears throat> uh, the, the first the first step is to to fill in the the attribute tables with uh, each information uh, we have. So year, uh, uh, period, building period, building form. Um, uh, uh, Urban context. So, uh, with this, it's the base of the, the future map because uh, each attribute uh, we uh, allow us to to, to create uh, a map uh, to to compare in a, in a one thematic uh, all of uh, all of uh, uh, all of attributes you you want. Uh, so in the yes in the the layer properties uh, we have also different tools like uh, style and labels and the shield um, so we could create uh, the base uh, information and you can uh, 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 show us on show show to the the client or the the, the the people who, who, what kind of information you want to, uh, to, to select. So, uh, to GIS, it's, uh, it's, it's, it's really the, the, the future of the, the, the urban and uh, 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 urban comprehension comprehension of the city. <coughs> is really the, the, the tools uh, all of uh, agency uh, could uh, could. Um, work 
cause is um, is really uh, easily to to handle it's uh, and it's very uh, and very the last uh, software we have to 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 come to to have uh, to have a clear vision with uh, the city and uh, a complete city of uh, like Hanoi. So uh, we we have uh, done this work uh, already with uh, and we constitute uh, the basic map of uh, Hanoi. So we we geolo localize uh, each uh, factory site uh, in Hanoi. So here we have uh, all of the the sites uh, are, um, are, uh, are broadcast in the, the in the city. So we we have the satellite different type of satellite imagery. So with um, S3, with a Google satellite, with uh, uh, with Bing of uh, all of uh, all of uh, image sat satellite imagery you, you can have. So we also have the the parcels, the different uh, the, the finally the, the repartition of uh, uh, property on uh, the the different cutting of uh, territory. Uh, uh, in Hanoi. So uh, with uh, this information, we also have um, the bombing uh, war in the next uh, slide. Uh, yeah, uh, we, we're gonna do first the, the work of uh, comparing uh, bombing sites and uh, industrial sites. So we also, um, uh, have the conclusion of uh, uh, if if the, the the factory are demolished by the war uh, the war in the, uh, so this is the first first exercise it's to compare uh, two different data um, and to to show how to, the first of all it's how to show the information and how to 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 have the, the classification of information. Uh, so with this, we we can uh, we can have some conclusion, and we could uh, uh, we could have some uh, some project and some uh, idea of the, the the impact of the the war bombing. But it's also the, the conclusion of um, of a comparative uh, information uh, we have to 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 show in the the Hanoi ad hoc. It's um, it's uh, the data. If if we if we compare different data, we can have some uh, different conclusion. Uh, we have also the the, the cadastral. Uh, layers. Uh, so we have a, a clear definition and clear details of uh, uh, of Hanoi. Um, so with uh, this basic uh, information, uh, we can uh, we can begin to create some uh, polygons and some en entities to to fill in some each entities with information. So here we can. Uh, uh, see the, the, the central history of uh, Hanoi, and we also uh, see the, the, the first uh, industries we have, uh, and we have test uh, its uh, beer factory of Hanoi. Um, so we have the details in the next slide. Yeah, we have uh, in this scale we have the the, the urban scales. We have the the details of uh, the, the urban uh, urban fabrics and uh, with the different uh, typology of vi uh, village and different uh, typology of uh, uh, of development uh, like uh, uh, the uh, like uh, also the 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 last uh, the large uh, administrative uh, plot and uh, we have the, the scale of the 
also the scale of the, uh, the factories in the cities and the east perimeter and uh, the large scale of uh, on, the, on this uh, and um, also the, the, the large perimeter in the in the details fabrics. Uh, to, to precise uh, the, the, the information we have is in, in this uh, in this uh, factories, we have uh, we have fill in some attributes. We we could uh, uh, share. Uh, we could um, uh, and we we search some information in basic in basic uh, satellite satellite imagery, uh, like the building form and building period we could estimate and uh, the we 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 have searching the, the, also the, the building period in the uh, internet and and uh, we also fill in with uh, the new address and old address and all information we can uh, we can collect we could link uh, to each entities it's really the, 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 the first uh, operation of uh, QGIS is uh, if you have any information uh, linked, we, we, you should link to the, to the building and uh, the, the, the map uh, ID uh, begin with the type of information we have. Um, so with the GIS, it's uh, just a tool. Uh, it's the software really uh, intelligent, but we, we also have the, the, the idea of uh, representation of uh, this uh, circulative map. Um, uh, I, I, I have done, I have collect some uh, map outcomes uh, we can uh, create uh, in with the QGIS, uh, but with uh, also the aesthetic uh, uh, aesthetic tools like um, Adobe Illustrator and the Adobe Suite, um, with the, the base uh, from uh, QGIS. So in this uh, in this slide we. We have the, the large scale uh, map, uh, uh, and we could uh, appreciate the, the circulation between uh, cities and uh, and village, and uh, also the the, the 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 relief the level curves. And, uh, we have all the information, and but it's really clear to really clear to, to the circulation mapping is a it's, it's a base we can see in the, the first uh, the first uh, visualization and yeah it's an, another example um, with the, the wall of uh, granada uh, it's about uh, uh, geo localized uh, photography and uh, we we have some um, some idea of uh, of uh, what good information uh, can create with uh, different treatment. Uh, we have also a large idea of uh, what is uh, this wall of Granada uh, with different type of uh, with a, a photography, but also a map, uh, a precise map. And, uh, this is an idea of uh, of, uh, of interaction between informations, uh, between maps and between photographies and between uh, uh, all, uh, all information we have. This is another large scale with uh, an idea of a circulative map uh, of uh, good, uh, good circulations, um, circulation of goods, um, and also the, the the, the territory and the, who who can create uh, uh, the the map who, who uh, when and uh, all all of the information um, in in this uh, in this scale we we can appreciate the, the urban uh, fabrics and uh, we can uh, also link uh, geo geolocalized information and 
it's also uh, an idea of uh, a district of uh, um, a quarter. Uh, and uh, it, it's um, these fragments of uh, cities uh, could, uh, could represent uh, an idea of, uh, of uh, what kind of uh, activities we have, what kind of uh, uh, you use uh, what kind of produce we can uh, we can have is in, uh, in this uh, this uh, fragment about fragments we also have some maps uh, without uh, context uh, just with uh, buildings and the uh, circulation be between us and between the each factories um, and it's also an idea of uh, mapping because um, mapping is just uh, the representation of the information. And uh, if we have to do clearly, we can, we could, uh, we may uh, uh, have some maps without context. Um, in this, it's, this is uh, an exchange between uh, two type of information. Uh, it's the, the, the plan marking the, the circulation for the territory, but he also uh, linked uh, the, the time between uh, different cities and uh, different, also different activities between uh, uh, two type of cities. So, uh, it's a kind of uh, representation by uh, the int intelligence of, uh, of uh, exchange uh, between data. It, it, it's an example of a representation of circular do drawings. And uh, the mapping is, uh, is also the, the mapping of uh, of the, 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 the thinking mapping, mapping. Uh, he linked some information, but uh, every information are not uh, linked by uh, uh, phys physically. So we can create uh, this type of uh, circular drawings because uh, the, the information are also linked by the by, by different attributes and, but, uh, and different thematic, uh, they are in common. So to, to, to have uh, a little conclusion, um, uh, in, interactive um, circular mapping is an, an, an interactive map and uh, the, 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 the data uh, is the first uh, step to, to, to create a map and uh, we have to consider uh, it uh, at the beginning and to also to to have a, a clear vision of the city and the people who live in so thank you thank you very much thomas i really appreciate that it's i'm really excited to see the potential of how you can interact with this data and you can produce such beautiful and aesthetic maps that really help people connect with the city in a way that we normally aren't able to and i think particularly um, i think a lot of us really have a very strong love for Hanoi so I can see this how we can start to see whole different aspects to the city that we live in and love so thank you very much so um, so now we'll open up for this time for questions mm -hmm. so if Thomas if you wouldn't mind and I'll just get uh, started so how um, so what kind of information is being collected what what are all the different types of data that we're in the process of putting together we have a di different type of uh, information. We have the, the first uh, step. It's, uh, it's uh, the, the, like the, uh, the first tier of uh, satellite imagery or, or like just a photography of the site. We can uh, collect information by, uh, by hand. Um, and and the, the second step is, um, is, is uh, 
municipal of a public that has uh, each uh, municipality creates to to to, to develop uh, uh, the city and uh, the, the second step is uh, uh, the, the third step is uh, open data uh, we have the in internet um, uh, it's uh, also the, it's generated and basic data but it also do uh, uh, do the, the same uh, uh, information and uh, the the fourth uh, uh, information it's uh, creative uh, creative information it's uh, uh, adding uh, and uh, we have to design uh, this information and create some entities um, about the, the the files we can uh, we can have in a QGIS it's about uh, a shape shape file it's about a key uh, QML uh, files. Uh, uh, it's just a point uh, point uh, file. Um, we have also the CSV file uh, from Excel. Just uh, just to have the 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 great the great, uh, 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 the great localization uh, uh, in in. Okay, and we've got a question. Oh, we've got a couple of questions now. So Gary's asking Thomas, would it be possible to use data mined from things such as Instagram, Twitter, and Facebook? Yeah, yeah, we, you can try it. It's, uh, it, 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 uh, it is the test in uh, uh, already. Uh, uh, you can create an alternative map. Uh, 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 to broadcast in the uh, all, all of the so social media uh, with the HTML um, linked, so you can broadcast uh, your map on uh, each uh, platform you want. And we have Dan Chi is asking from the data you collected, how do you define the format, the visual or imagery to visualize the information that are not linked by physical to the map um the the format uh, you choose it's um it's about a uh, scale of uh, cities so it it depends of uh, the the uh, the the goal of the map uh, creation but uh, you can appreciate uh, maps in different scales uh, about the uh, scale of the the, the the quarter, scale of the district, scale of um, of the city, or scale of territory, like uh, the province of uh, Hanoi. Uh, so it depends of the subject uh, on, uh, on the on the project also. Okay. Um, can I, Michelle? Can I jump in just to add a little something to yeah to this point? Um, so GIS works best if we can. Um, attach information to a physical thing in the map. And it can be, as Thomas is saying, it could be at the scale of the entire province. It can be information that is uh, intangible. For example, if we were to do a survey around one of our factory and ask people how they feel about that factory or what kind of memories they have about that factory, we could generate keywords related to that specific site. And then we could take these keywords and attach them to, for example, the boundary of the site. And from there, we could use the 100 factories and show how, map the feelings about these factories uh, for the entire, um, uh, yeah, that data set for the entire factories. But if there is no relation at all between information and space or information in the map, then, then we need to use another tool than GIS. Then that's the limit of, of the GIS. Yeah. Okay, thank you. And so Anvu is asking, is there any example of an interactive GIS open map that is available online and where can we see it? Yeah, it is like a Google map. Google Map is is the same function, uh, the same usage of uh, QGIS. Each point of each uh, uh, each uh, building have information linked in. 
we have the, the public uh, public information like uh, the, the time is opened uh, for the shop uh, commercial shops and we have also the the, the, the site web linked uh, to each uh, to each uh, retails uh, we have uh, the information of public uh, buildings google map is uh, it's the best uh, representation of uh, what we can do in the QGIS. Okay. And because it's going to be open access, the the mapping that we're in the early stages of doing, so how can it be used or who, who could be able to use it? Like what are the possibilities of using maps like this? Um, the, the goal of uh, QGIS is to, to create some to, to clear clear map to, to broadcast to each people uh, we want to to have some information it's it's not just for the, the urbanist of architect and it's for it's for all it's uh, that's why the the software is uh, is a clear uh, access to to manage uh, information and to 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 communicate uh, some information. Just to add on um, the uh, the question from Hung, right? I think we all undergo the period of you know, COVID-19 and John Hopkins University, the map that they use to track how many cases around the world, it is actually created by GIS and it's updated every single day, every hour. And the main thing is, it's the entire idea about using data and then map on and every, there will be collaboration between different institutions and these institutes supply the data and they create the kind of map and tap on. So the main thing is to visualize the significance of a particular event. And when we're talking about data visualization, we tend to be using this software and using, you know, going through a few kind of desired representation, we will be able to isolate a certain specific data and information that we need in terms of trend, in terms of projections, in terms of uh, area of effect. And that's how we uh, we would want to implement this tool into the research. Now, one of the thing, one of the area that we want to go through with different factory was to retrace the flow of goods and material between these factory. And by finding out these, and uh, it's quite a labor task, but after, after we are able to bring in and uh, categorize and um, you know uh, materialize and, and quantify this information then we can put in the map and we should be able to draw that information out so yeah, yeah. and just want to add on um, what uh, Duke, uh, just mentioned about the outcome the the potential outcome of the GIS uh, actually we um, the, the, the most interesting thing with um, that GIS file can produce is uh, it give us a overview uh, or kind of uh, generate different um, infographic that we never realize if we only have a sheet of Excel file. We 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 will not able to count how many uh, factories has been built uh, uh, during the French colonial period, overlapping with the the bombing site for example so the the idea is to generate for example this site uh, the, this map uh, by watching the by overlapping the the bombing site and the factories we can kind of um, understand the the logics of bombarding during the war uh, and the strategies of the strategies of the the factories how they uh they, they they kind of dissimulate into the many small factories during the world in order to avoid the the damage from the bombing and um the the the, the overlapping data and the overlapping information is actually uh the most powerful um um qualities that um jazz can help to generate and to make it uh, make us understand better uh, what is already there, but we never seen it. So it's kind of unearth the the invisible informations uh, 
and that that really helped to 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 for for the theorized part and to go to some conclusions. So actually, I think uh, um, in in architecture uh, community, we don't really use this uh, tool much, but in urban design or in geography, uh, we, we use a lot of this tool uh, of GIS to understand uh, the context of the territories. I think uh, Daniel can get you know, can give us, um, can share with us some experience uh, with uh, her works uh, because uh, Daniel already works a lot um, uh, in the urban scale in, in Hanoi and recently uh, with the projects of the KDTM. So maybe you can share I with just us. Say, if I can maybe share something about doing this kind of work in the context of Hanoi in particular. And I, I won't take too much time because there are some great questions in the, in the chat. Right. Um, but in the case of Hanoi, um, this kind of information is not, uh, the information about the details of information about the various parts of the city or the functions, the number of people, the activities, et cetera, is hardly accessible to the public. And it is therefore difficult to have a broad view, a general understanding of how the city um, functions or, or the city, the dynamics of the city. And it can be through time, it can be now, it can be related to its functions, it can be related to how people or material are moving around. And someone asked a question about traffic flow, so that could be also it. Um, and doing GIS in the context of Hanoi, although it requires that we generate a lot of this information by ourselves as a research team, as we are doing for the factories, it has it's worth the effort because it does provide us with this uh, comprehensive or general outlook on the city, on various aspects and dimensions of the city, and we start to understanding to understand it um, differently and better uh, by getting this general overview. And that's right, just to extend, there's teams that are working on finding in libraries and in the archives and so on, um, records relating to the factories and things. So it's really, there's the digital data and there's also the analog data that's always also being found and integrated into this process. And just to quickly add the fact that it's visualized, that it's presented in a visual way. So as with the example of the bombing, uh, when we, for example, all the triangles here are red, but if we were to represent them by type of production, then we would see what the Americans were targeting very, very clearly. We would see that those factories, for example, that produce military um, things for the military were the key target of the bombing. And it would be understandable by just about anyone <coughs> which at the difference of, for example, a text or a table or a graphic that might be a little bit more um, difficult to understand. Thank you. And so, yes, so we've answered that, that yes, uh, we can also integrate traffic flow, which I think in Hanoi is very topical. Um, and also with Long, we have a question. I can understand GS would be similar to Wikipedia, am I right? And that means information could be fixed freely and uncontrollably. So how can we know if we have the exact information? Of course, because the map's providing information, but I suppose, do we know if it's exact or accurate? Yeah. Uh, <clears throat> the, the map creation, it's also the, 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 the chance to, to have some mistakes, but, um, the, the it's really like Wikipedia. It's um, it's, it's like a, a constructive tools who, who wants to to have some information and who want to share it, uh, want to up, upgrade it. Um, it's like an uh, an exchange uh, of information. Also, um, it's each each. Uh, Kind of t territory who, who wants to have some information. Um, the, the, each people to, could uh, have the, the the handle of uh, the information, and you can create uh, a new entity and new polygons with uh, with his information. 
uh, I may just jump quickly uh, in to yep. maybe clarify something. There is two ways we can do the GIS. So in Hanoi Haddock, we do it in a closed way. It's not open um, to the public to, in, to, put, to, to add inputs. So we are controlling the information and we're trying to make sure that all the information that we put into the map is accurate as best as we can. But if you want to have a look at the other model, there is a Wikimapia uh, of Hanoi which is open. So anybody can, uh, it's, it's on the basis of a Google map. So anybody can click on a building and for example, add uh, the function or the activities that are inside. And then it becomes like Wikipedia, which means that you're never 100% sure that what you have is fully accurate, yet it's drawing from the collective intelligence, the collective knowledge of people to, um, to add information to the map. Yeah. So with the, with the information, we have to uh, we have also to to do the double check of the information if we can. Uh, but each information uh, are, are created by uh, an objective or by a goal. <clears throat> so if we have um, the the map data, so we have to analyze uh, each data and. We have to to have a vision also and a, a critic of uh, of this information. So we have um, a question here from Hui, and so it's a long question, and it's, he's really interested, I think, and he's got a lot of interesting skills, which is great. So hi everyone, I'm also a JS user and obsessed with FOSS. His talk has really inspired. So since the aim of the talk is about circulation, I think it would be great if you considered space syntax, Osmonx, hope I'm saying that right, a Python library for street analysis using OSM data, which can present several indications of traffic and circulation network based on their geometry. For example, we can compare the traffic network around the factory with other parts of the city. Just immediate, some immediate thoughts. Okay, so yeah, very interesting. Thank you. Yeah, so lots of in, inspiration there, which is great. Okay, and with Charles, so intrigued with the potential of JS as a storytelling tool. Yes, yeah, I think that's an interesting point. For example, can we map certain locations with their associated legends and or historical anecdotes? Mm. Yeah, for sure. You, you can create a map point of uh, your idea of uh, attributes and uh, but is historical and you can create this this map with uh, you can create all, all of you you want which in each thematic you want so you go to to trade the storytelling yes i think that would be really exciting having the yeah. those with it too and so there's been talk news of talk making about making Hanoi a smart city. It seems your work could be very compatible with this effort. Yeah, for sure. It's, uh, it's also uh, tools to, to, to have the comprehension of the city and to have the, the clear vision of the future. And with this, we can create a, like a master plan uh, for the, the future year. And we can also uh, uh, judge the future development and to to have uh, also an, an analyze of uh, uh, existing development. Um, it's it's really a tool to 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 develop some smart cities, as we as we said. And with Tintam, so are there? challenges you face when using GIS that is unique in the context of Hanoi compared to other cities you've worked on? Uh, yes, because um, the information are not in the open data because um, it's, uh, it's, it's very difficult to have some information in, uh, in Hanoi in, in Vietnam, but um, in, uh, in different countries I worked, it's the same, uh, same challenge. Uh, we uh, we do uh, create some information, so I know it's a, a good challenge for us. Thank you. So now I just wanted to ask um, 
Chung, if you can talk more about um, kind of the opportunities for people who are kind of interested in participating, um, where, where are we looking to go with the project in, and in terms of training or, you know, gathering data of other kinds? Right. Um, well, um, just I, I just want to mention that um, the GIS, the interactive map of Hanoi that we are developing now is not um, a kind of one year projects, but it will be the multi-annual projects. And um, it will be developed over time, like five, seven years. And uh, according to the team projects that we have uh, for each year, we, we're gonna try to collect the, the data that, um, you know, relevant to the, the topic. For example, this year we, we focus on the factories. So we, we have the kind of a team, the research team, uh, which is basic, basically our volunteers, uh, student and young architects based in Hanoi. Um, they help to collect data, go on, um, on the site, the, the field work and um, collect the on-site data. And uh, then we, we can supply to Toma to, to create the, the, the attribute table um, about the factories only. And then next year, um, our, our program will be uh, focusing on the, the city waters, especially the Red River and um, other inner urban lakes. Um, so we're gonna have to collect the data uh, regarding, you know, waters and um, the river. So it's really depend on each year we're gonna have a different type of data need to be collected and the student uh, or the participant uh, in the projects will have kind of different experience. Uh, I, I would say it's quite challenged. It's quite very challenging, but also um, a chance to explore different fields um, because normally uh, I am an architect. I, I really focus more on the built um, kind of built um, objects and we, ha we have very little chance to work with the um, natural elements you know, vegetation or waters or, uh, so this is kind of uh, a chance for, for, for people from different uh, background to explore, uh, you know, kind of others uh, disciplinary. So that's why we have a, a group of um, multidisciplinary uh, professions um, where we can exchange and, um, have the same role in the projects. And that's really fit the project to be a, a kind of very complete um, in terms of um, uh, knowledge. Thank you. So what I might we do now is because our um, our second guest Stan is um, we're just needing to sort out him joining. So what I'd like to invite everyone to do now.